Welcome back, colorful pineapple time. I'm using a molded stone from the molds uh, from Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. The link will be in the description. You can use my discount code to get molds to make your own stones as well. Now there is a center dot on these stones. I've painted it black, let it dry, found my center dot again with pencil, and now I'm using a compass to make a circle. And I'm gonna open it up a little bit and make a second circle and that's going to be frame, a frame around my artwork. It, it's the same kind of dial frame that I always do. Um, you see it regularly throughout my, my channel. Um, I just think it tidies everything up and frames it all up nicely. And yeah, but you will see I'm doing a second pineapple at the end of the video that is on a regular stone, beautiful stone, um, but it's not one of these art stones made with a mold. Uh, and that way you can see that you can do it on anything and it'll still look beautiful. And uh, there's no framework on the other one, so you'll be able to see the difference at the end. Now I am trying to make it look like some of these leaves are coming out towards us. And that's why they look kind of strange. Um, but hopefully it all makes sense at the, at the end. <laughs> do you guys trust me? Do you guys know this is going to look beautiful when we're done, right? <laughs> I always tell you it's going to look beautiful, even if it looks really strange right now. So I've drawn it on with pencil and I'm happy with it. So I'm going to use my gold paint and outline everything that I've drawn on with pencil, except for the stuff that I don't want, because I'm going to erase that afterwards. So don't forget to check the description of my uh, video and you'll be able to find my fine lining brush tutorial as well as all the paint colors that I'm using in each video. Um, all the stuff that I use, whether I'm using crystals or glitter, everything, hopefully, if I remember, will be listed in the description of the video. But my husband and I are actually working on trying to figure out how to YouTube better and, um, and help you guys a little bit better by adding links and stuff to the screen so that you can just click a, sc a screen uh, link and it'll bring you right to my fine lining brush tutorial or my resin tutorial. So it's something we're working on and uh, I appreciate your patience. So some of the gold is a little thick so once that's dry I will be thinning it out with black paint um, just getting some of my lines more even or, or what have you. Um, and I'm going to erase all the pencil that I don't want. And it's always best to wait until it's dry before you erase it and you will see why shortly. <laughs> I make mistakes too. So if your gold paint is very thick, it's not gonna fine line easily. No paint will fine line easily if it's too thick. So what I do with my acrylic paint is I just add a little bit of water um, and it really helps with the consistency when you're trying to outline something with a fine lining brush. So now that I've painted it all on there the way I want it, I'm going to go and erase all the lines that I don't want. And oops, it was still wet. So now I've made a large mess, <laughs> but that's okay because I'm going to go in with black paint and my fine lining brush and clean everything up very soon but I do recommend letting it dry before you take an eraser to it. <laughs> so same thing, black paint, fine lining brush. Um, you do want that black paint to move around for you the way the gold paint does. If you need to add water to that as well, just don't add too much because a little goes a long way. So I've, I'm getting rid of everything I don't want and then I'm gonna let it dry, make sure all the gold and all the black is completely dry before we start adding any color to it. So you can see everything's just kind of being thinned out, cleaned up, separated from one another. And cleanup is actually a very relaxing time for me because I actually like the way everything looks. And now I'm just sprucing it up a little bit and getting it ready for all the color. That's the most exciting part for me. So I want to know who out there eats pineapple on their pizza, because I do. 
I love pineapple on my pizza, and I know it's an acquired taste, and I know there's lots out, out there that do not like it, and I respect you. I respect your decision. However, I love pineapple on my pizza. Lots. I like pineapple anywhere, at any time, not just on pizza, because it's just the best. It's one of my favorite fruits in the whole world. So that's why we're doing a colorful pineapple today. <laughs> I will also be adding flat back crystals to my pineapple, which is optional. Um, but you will see that afterwards. I do add these ones after I've resined, but I've let it dry for about eight or nine hours before I stick my crystals on. So I will show you that prior to showing you the final product. So now I'm adding little diamonds. I just went with lines one way and then across the other way. And now I'm adding cute little bums to all these diamonds. So there's like cute little bum and then legs. So you put a little line in between and each diamond is going to have these cute little bums in them. It's the best way for me to explain. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, we're going to be putting a little dot on the top of the cute little bum as well, and that's where I'll be adding crystals. So I'm just making sure that there's uh, each diamond is filled in, and even if you can only see part of the diamond, um, still give it half a cute little bum or a little bit of a cute little bum, whatever you have to do. Uh, if you've seen my quiet little owl tutorial, I have a cute little bum in that one as well. <laughs> I got some, something something about these cute little bums. You can do so much with them. <laughs> so I'm adding a dot to each one, and that's where the crystals are going to be. But in all, in all between those dots is going to be color. Got to make sure I fill in all my diamonds. And you can, once again, go in with a black paint and fix anything that you made a mistake on in there. So I'm just making sure that you can see all my leaves before we start coloring them in. I'm gonna be using three different shades of green for the leaves. And they, they actually really pop off the rock because they're so bright and bold and beautiful. So I hope this design is fairly simple. And even if you don't like the taste of pineapple, you might really like this project because it's really nice when it's done. So you can choose three different shades of green, one dark, one medium, one light. Um, and I'm starting with the dark first. All of these paint colors will be listed in the description. And I'm going a third of the way up the leaf or down the leaf, depending on how you're looking at it. I do have it upside down right now. But I'm just starting at the base of every leaf and going up like a third of the way because then we're gonna add the medium colored green and then the light green afterwards. So each leaf I'm starting off with is just getting the dark green right now. And it's not really a real dark green, it's actually called bright green. Um, but the other two greens are much lighter than this color. So as long as you have three different shades going from dark to light, it will work. And you'll see a huge difference in the leaves just by adding three different shades of green instead of just one. It makes a huge difference. They just, they just pop right off the rock like this. So I've started adding the next lighter green and I'm going almost all the way to the end, but I wanna leave the tips of the leaves for the lightest green. And it's more of a lime green that I'll, I'll be using for the tips. And I'm starting to fill in the tip now, but you'll see in a moment just how surprisingly bright and beautiful they look once they're all done. Really changes up the whole thing when you, when you uh, get creative. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. So everything is dry. I will be outlining all of those leaves individually with black paint. But first, we're going to color in 
the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from like a peach color and then orange. And then I'm going to go light magenta, dark magenta, light purple, dark purple, um, like a, a light aqua, and then a teal. So it's just going to gradually go up in a rainbow of dots, give each color their own section or line, their ni a nice little area so that you can see all their color. Um, in the other pineapple that I show you at the end, I've actually colored in each section in a different color. So each cute little bum and legs is a different color. Each diamond has a different color. Um, so it looks very different and I actually prefer the other design more than this one. So I can't wait to show you. That way you can see if you like it better too. So I've started with the bright magenta. Now I'm going to a darker magenta. And it's just kind of like oranges, pinks, purples, blues. That's what it's going to go up in a rainbow. And you can go any direction you want. You can go right from the bottom up. You don't have to go diagonally like this. Um, I'm just kind of going with the, like the, the design that's on the pineapple. So there are those diagonal lines. So I'm doing diagonal lines of color as well. So now I'm using lavender. And then I'm going to use um, a violet purple as well. Now I will be adding crystals to all of those little dots and um, I do recommend using a wax pencil when you're adding your crystals because it sticks to the crystal and then it lets go once you stick the crystal onto your stone. Um, it's almost impossible to add crystals without using a wax pencil. So I definitely recommend it. I will put a link in the description of where I got mine on Amazon. But keep in mind, I'm in Canada, and you might just have to look up wax pencils um, where you are and see if you can find them on Amazon in the, in the U.S. or possibly eBay. Uh, you might even be able to pick them up at your nearest Walmart. So as you can see, I did add the, the darker purple, and now I'm going in with jungle green, and then I'm going to have teal. I'm also going to use teal for my outer frame um, because it's just the darkest color uh, on my stone when, once I've filled it in with color and I just thought it would look nice using the darkest color. But you can use whatever you want. Make sure you don't forget anything. Fill in all the nooks and crannies. This is a super colorful pineapple. So now I'm using teal. Like I said, this is going to be the same color around the frame. I'm going to be using dragonfly glaze on the inside around the pineapple. You can use hologram. That will also look really, really nice, especially if you're using teal as your frame or if you have teal in the pineapple anywhere. Um, hologram 2796 looks beautiful. So I'm going to work on the outer frame. If you want to see how I do this, um, I do spend more time on the frame on other videos. Uh, I wish I could link to those videos right now, but I still haven't learned how to do that. Um, but definitely check out my jelly, uh, jellyfly, dragonfly, um, or my semicolon. Those two both have frames and I spend more time uh, talking about the frame and how I do it. Um, but basically, I color the frame. I use a sponge to make sure all of the paint is even and there's no brush strokes. Then I go in with a little bit lighter color on two of the edges. Um, and I just kind of blend in the lighter color there to make it kind of look like it's shiny. So there's like a, a shine to that teal ring around the, the pineapple. And it, it's a lot of blending, so it's a lot of using uh, sponges and, and getting those colors to uh, change softly into one another. 
So I'm doing that at the bottom left and I'm going to do it at the top right as well. And just lighten it a little bit. Same way I did the other side. And just make it so that you just keep adding teal um, to soften the color change. And then it just kind of goes into the other color without you even noticing. It's, it's like an airbrush look. And then it kind of looks like shiny ribbon. Now I'm going to do the gold. And what I do is I outline it all again, make sure it's nice and clean and it still looks circular. And then I add gold notches all the way around the dial. And once again, if you want more time on the notches and the dial portion of this, definitely take a look at any of my other videos um, where I spend a lot more time on that. Basically, the notches are one at the top, one at the bottom. It gets me started, one at the side, left and right. And then I go in between all of those notches in the center. Keep spinning it around and get the center of each of those areas that you've notched off. And just keep going between all of them. And eventually, the notches get closer together and they're all evenly spread apart. Now I'm going to outline all of my leaves just to separate them all and make sure that they pop off the pineapple and pop off the framework because I want them to stand out. So wait till everything is dry before you do this. I highly recommend. And just a very, very, very fine line because you don't want to take away any of that gold lining that you've done already. Sometimes it does help to make your gold lines somewhat thicker and then you can you can go over top of that gold without hitting any of the bumps from your dots. Because once those dots are dry, they are bumpy. So trying to outline on those dots is not easy. So I just try and make sure that my gold is kind of thick. That way I can thin it out with my black line later on. Hope I'm making sense. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. I just love pineapples. They stand tall, wear a crown, and are the sweetest things ever. Just like you guys. So I just want to know if you guys eat pineapple on your pizza. So make sure you comment. Let me know. Let me know mm -hmm. if it's disgusting mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> you do not like it. Because I respect that. It's an acquired taste. Everything's outlined nicely. You can see, especially around the frame, it looks really, really nice. So here's the Dragonfly Glaze 44380. It is more of a holographic, very, very fine rainbow holographic glitter. Um, I use a fine lining brush to get in the little nooks and crannies. And then I use a sponge for the bigger areas so that the glitter goes on evenly and it dries evenly and there's no fogginess or thick areas that don't ever seem to dry. Um, so I, I literally sponge it out so that it's completely even. Because honestly, with Dragonfly Glaze, even Hologram, if it's too thick, it kind of always stays a little foggy. So I'm making sure to put a very thin layer in, in between all of those leaves and then using a sponge to get all the glitter evenly laid out. And you'll notice it looks super nice when it's dry. And these sponges, you don't have to use these. These are from Martha Stewart, but they are a little pricier than other sponges I've seen out there from CraftSmart. So definitely take a look at your nearest um, art supply store like Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever you shop at and see what kind of uh, sponge daubers they carry. So this has been resined and I've waited about eight to nine hours 
before I'm going to add crystals. There's the wax pencil. I have my crystals ready. My rock is still very wet, but these crystals are going to stick right into the resin. And then after I let it dry for another five, six hours, those crystals are not going to budge and you won't lose any of the facets. So let it cure for eight to nine hours, then add the crystals to the sticky surface and then let them cure for the remainder of the curing time. And then, I mean, come on guys, look at this. How beautiful is that colorful pineapple? Just gorgeous. And I will be showing you as well, like I said, um, a pineapple that's been painted directly onto a stone uh, with no framework. And um, let me know what, what you like better. Let me know in the comments. Share the video. Let me know what you think of pineapples. And here it is. I've done it differently. I've filled in color in all the little sections of the pineapple. And it's on a beautiful Lake Superior stone. It looks like marble. Let me know what you guys think. Which one do you like better? Uh, these will be going into my Etsy shop shortly. I love you guys. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And keep painting.